Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. About three years ago, I put out this video about axial flux motors and the Aptera would be amazing. This was back when Aptera was still using the Alafe in-wheel motors. And I did not know if Alafe used radial or axial flux motors. And um, I reached out to Alafe at that time. They didn't get back to me until several weeks later. And Alafe motors are radial flux motors. And the vast majority of electric motors out there are radial flux motors. The motors in Teslas and, you know, the the EMR3 that Aptera is using, those are all radial flux motors. That is the standard uh, electric motor um, architecture. But axial flux has um, potentially much higher energy density. And if you want to know what the difference between radial flux and axial flux and yokeless axial flux motors are, you can watch this video. Um, I go over it. This was three years ago. I'll link the video in the in the description. But back then, two companies, Yasha and Magnex, were working on this yokeless axial flux motors, and it looks like Yasha is basically ready. They've they've created this motor. They put the motor. So Yasha has now been bought out and acquired by AMG, which is the performance arm of Mercedes Benz. So Yasha is a subsidiary of Mercedes Benz, essentially. So they have big money backing them. And they've created this um, axial flux motor. And this axial flux motor has been put into a concept car called the Mercedes-Benz Vision 111, which looks super cool. But yeah, there's the Yasha axial flux motors are in this concept car. And this axial flux motor has um, it delivered 550 kilowatts of power from a 13 kilogram package so that is for those who use freedom units that's about 760 horsepower from a 28 pound package yeah 28 so it's about 28 pound motor delivered almost 800 um, horsepower i don't know if that's peak or continuous i'm guessing that's peak um power because if that's continuous that's absolutely ridiculous all right, so let's look at some other motors. Um, Alafe, I, I, so I went back and looked at Alafe's website. They've been busy. Just July 7th, they released this press release. They have a new version of their in-wheel motors called the Sonic X, and it's much more, um, it's much lighter and much more powerful. And they get 300 kilowatts, which is about 400 horsepower um, per motor in... Uh, something that adds 25 kilograms of extra weight. And the reason they say extra weight is because their motors include a rotor and brake calipers. So the total weight, if you look at them, the total weight is 38. So I guess they're saying that the standard wheel unit in a vehicle weighs about 13 kilograms. And they're adding 25 kilograms to that make a total weight of 38 kilograms. So the total weight of their wheel is 38 kilograms. It delivers 300 uh, peak kilowatts, which is about 400 horsepower. If you look at Donut Labs, remember Donut Labs was this other in-wheel company that we ran into at CES. They have an automotive motor that weighs 40 kilograms. Of course, you have to add theirs. is just a donut, so it does not include the brake caliper and the brake rotor. So you have to add that on. That's going to be another 13 kilograms, so 53 kilograms. So, so 53 kilograms, but this one generates 630 kilowatts, which is like close to 900 um close to 900 horsepower that's absolutely bonkers but it is pretty heavy um because 53 kilograms is like over 100 pounds of unsprung weight per wheel which is substantial now if yasha so th if yasha could make an in-wheel motor using axial flux and it was only 13 kilograms then you add another 13 kilograms for um, the rotor and the caliper and stuff. That's 26 kilograms. 26 kilograms with 700 horsepower per wheel. That is crazy. So that 26 kilograms is only like 50 pounds. So difference between 50 and 100 over 100 pounds of unsprung weight. So I think 50 pounds of unsprung weight would be easily manageable by a modern suspension system. An in-wheel motor with this axial flux uh, design from Yasha would be absolutely amazing. 
So I think there's a lot of uh, cool things happening with um, motors and then batteries. A lot of solid state batteries or, or semi solid state batteries are coming online. So a lot of exciting stuff happening in the EV space. Um, but the the recent um, breakthrough in aerodynamics by Hyundai's concept car combined with um, power density of the electric motor with this uh, the new, new axial flux motor from Yasha um, could make for some very compelling cars in the near future. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.